What's up guys? Alright, so real quick before we get into today's video, I want to apologize for the lack of uploads uh, in the last couple of days. I was uh, on vacation just before summer ended, and then right as I came back, school started, you know, all that stressful, get back to school type stuff, and uh, that, that was very hectic. And so I wasn't really able to stay on top of my uploads, wish I could have, honestly, because I love making videos, but uh, I'm going to see uh, how regularly I can upload, you know, with school and everything, and I will try my absolute hardest, I promise you. But uh, for today's video, guys, I want to talk about goals and appreciation, all right? and how they relate to one another. All right, so everybody has goals. I have goals, you have goals, we all have goals, okay? And the issue with most goals is that uh, that one day mentality that so many of us develop. And everybody, I'm sure, has been guilty of this at some point, and everyone is probably guilty of this currently. They say, all right, one day it's gonna be like this. You know, one day I'm gonna have this and that. I'm going to have all these really amazing things and my life's going to be this perfect like fantasy of mine one day. Okay. And it's like this pot of gold at the end of the rainbow type deal. And it just doesn't work like that. And the issue with all of that is appreciation. You don't appreciate where you are now. Essentially you use this future self and these future goals as an excuse to uh, say that what you have right now isn't good enough. And that is where the appreciation comes in. All right, You have to appreciate where you are right now. Okay, so think about it this way. Like, all the people that would kill for your situation. And you know, I hear you right now, oh my god, no, my situation is terrible, I hate my life. And it's like, no one would want to be me. Bullshit, okay? There's somebody somewhere on earth that would die to have your spot. Always. There's always somebody better. There's always somebody worse. And you have to appreciate your place. You know, even if it's not ideal, even if it's not even close to ideal, you have to appreciate it for what it is. There's always something to appreciate, okay? You know, you you have a house. Or you have, more specifically, you have a computer. You know, you're watching this video right now. Or even better, say you're watching this on your iPad or your iPhone. Like, you have a phone. You have a smartphone. You have a tablet. This is amazing. You can do things with this. You can reach the entire world through this little thing you hold in your hand. Okay, this is amazing. You have a home you live in. You know, even if it's it's not a nice house. Even if you're not sure if you're gonna be in it next week, you're in it right now. Okay, and you're watching it on your phone, your computer, whatever, all right? It's, it's amazing. And you have to appreciate it. Every single situation has something that you can appreciate about it. You just have to find it. And really that comes down to positivity and negativity. You can, no matter how well you off you are and no matter how bad off you are, you're either gonna find a reason to be grateful or you're gonna find a reason to hate your situation. That's just human nature. You're going to be one or the other. But the thing is, if you want to move towards your goals, you have to develop um, an air of positivity in that you accept and appreciate where you are right now. Because the minute you separate your goal from you is the minute that your goal becomes unattainable. You know, because you put it on that pedestal. When you put it on that on that like one day type thing, you're no longer working towards it. You know, you you say you are, and you know you work hard at school or you do this or that in the effort that like one day you're gonna have this. You know, sort of. There's no direct correlation. You don't have the path laid out between here and there. You just assume that if you keep spinning your wheels right now, you'll get there eventually, and you just kind of hope for that. And that's where the appreciation comes in. Okay, you have to appreciate where you are currently, all right? You're here right now, you have these things, these things are available to you, and you can use them. And so that helps you to formulate a direct path towards your goal, because you know where you are, and you know, once you know where you are, all that's left to figure out is where you're gonna go. So the only place you can really go from here is forward. And there you go, you're already progressing towards your goals. You just have to develop a path from where you are now to those goals. And so um, another thing I want to touch on is that you really just have to enjoy the process. 
because you know you're not going to achieve your goals if you don't enjoy the journey. Uh, and and everyone's gonna tell you, you know, like on every artsy Instagram page you've ever seen. Oh, enjoy the journey. Life's a journey. You know, it's beautiful. Enjoy it. It's true, okay? Life is a journey. And then guess what? The journey's never going to end. Even, you know, say you, your goal in life is to own a Lamborghini and fuck seven chicks and have a massive mansion. The second you do all that, guess what? It's not over. You're not going to sit there and be like, oh, well, chick number seven, Lamborghini in the garage, mansion. Cool. I'm done, <laughs> okay? That's not going to happen. What's going to happen is you're going to develop new goals. And then it's going to be like, I want Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez both in my bed at the exact same time. And I want the Trump Tower and I want a fucking jet. You know, if you're materialistic, then I mean, obviously there's more spiritual goals you could have, but that's sort of the point. It's never going to end. You're always going to have goals. You're always going to have this thing you're working towards and it's a journey. And that's why the appreciation and acceptance are so key because that's all you have really. Okay. You're never going to live within your goal. You're never going to live inside your goal in this bubble of perfection. That is your goal. You're always going to be living in the journey. And so if you don't enjoy the journey, you have no goals. <laughs> that's it. If you don't enjoy where you are right now, if you don't accept and appreciate where you are right now, you have no goals. Not one. All right. You have to enjoy the journey. That's what it's all about. All right. Accept where you are right now. Come to terms with it. Accept it however you need to. Appreciate it for all the good things that it has to offer. And then progress. All right. Enjoy it. Enjoy the journey. All right. Have, have fun with it. In fact, just make it everything you want it to be. If it's not good enough for you right now, if you, like, even after trying to appreciate everything, you're still not content with the journey right now, you're not content with how you're getting there, change it, okay? And there's nothing in the whole, there's nothing in the world that's going to stop you, all right? You have all this opportunity around you. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you say. You have opportunity. You just have to decide whether you're willing to find it or not, all right? You have to decide if you're going to progress, all right? And so, uh, I really just want to leave you with that. Um, it's a journey. You have to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy the journey, you have no goals. <laughs> and, uh, that's sort of what I wanted to get across to you. So just be positive, accept, appreciate, achieve your goals. There you go. All right. So as always guys, uh, have a good day. Uh, be sure to drop a like on the video, uh, follow social media, subscribe, do all that, do what you gotta do. And uh, I will see you soon.